Hello, and this is Ross, and uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the Iron Man trilogy, which is what you see here in front of me. And, um, okay, so basically we have the Iron Man trilogy, which is, up until now, it is basically Marvel's, uh, you could call it Marvel's um, flagship series for um basically the what they call um phase 2 which are these two movies right here which were in phase 2 of the Avengers uh series of Marvel movies which these two right here this one is Marvel phase 3 so that Iron Man 3 is Marvel phase 3 so that one will We'll leave out here, but we're just talking about these two movies for right now. And this one, Iron Man, was basically, um, it was basically, uh, it was her first, uh, attempt at, uh, bringing Tony Stark to the big screen, and, um, and I will probably tell you that this one is basically my favorite out of all three of the films. I think this one pretty much is the best one out of the whole entire series. And um, it had a great cast. It had um, it had uh, Robert Downey Jr. And it also had Jeff Bridges and Gwyneth Paltrow. So they were all... Uh, and of course, Clark Gregg, who is also right now, as we speak, on um, the new Avengers uh, series. I guess I would probably call it closer because it has a lot of stuff that goes kind of closely a Marvel and Avengers series that is kind of closer to um, to the Avengers timeline and uh, between between Iron Man three and the Avengers. What happened after the Avengers? Uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is on right now, so he plays Agent Coulson, he is in this too, he's in all three films, I mean, actually he's in, uh, actually he's in, uh, excuse me, he's actually in these two films right here, so you'll see him in those two films, and then you have also, um, Samuel Jackson, who played Nick Fury, who was not in this film until at the very end, when you see a small clip of him, at the very end of this film is when he's in. All right, he's in this film a lot, a little bit more. As he has a whole entire few scenes in this film in Iron Man Two, which we'll get to here in just a second. But this one is basically my favorite. It uh, did the did the origin story very well. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. was a blast in all three of these. He's a blast. He carries the movies, all three of these movies, very well. And this movie was just a lot of fun. It was... Um, I never get tired of watching Iron Man. I could watch it over and over again. It's one movie, a Marvel movie, that I could watch over and over again besides Avengers. And um, so that I would say this one I would give basically I would give this one five stars. This one right here, Iron Man Two, was what I would call well, it was it was good for what it was, but I really didn't really I found it a little bit more kind of like um it was a bit too, it played a bit too much off of the, of, of the personal side of Tony Stark to me. And they didn't really have, you know, it was, the, the, the personal side of me, they played him off, it off kind of silly to me. There was a scene in the movie where he got really, really drunk and faces um, War Machine in there and stuff like that. And it's a really... I didn't really care for the scene very much. I mean, yeah, it's cool to see them both fight, but the drinking thing really didn't have any... It really didn't have any purpose to me in the film. And it was just a side of Tony Stark that I really didn't care about. I didn't care whether he was a drunk or not, you know. Um, but they make it up 
for the end action sequence, which is a really awesome end action sequence, um, with uh, um, with some really cool effects and stuff like that, and he gets to meet uh, Whiplash at the end, who basically is a genius in the film, and um, and he is basically played by. Um, by uh he's basically played by Mickey Rourke, which I'm sorry I had to look that up. Just you know, uh sometimes I you know, as many movies as I have, sometimes I can't remember the actors, but anyways. Uh he's played by Mickey Rourke, who plays a fantastic job of of playing Whiplash, you know, who has been on um been on try on revenge on how he, how Tony Stark took his idea about the arc reactor. His father and him came up with the idea of the of the arc reactor, and um, he thinks that Tony stole that from him. And basically, that's what the movie is. Now, um, it was a good movie for what it was. I'm not saying it wasn't, but Iron Man is far superior. This one pretty much got just about every single thing, the spirit and the essence of Iron Man, this one got. Now, Iron Man 3. This one was a movie that basically, I thought, went way too far on trying to make up their own concept. All right, Sure, they had things from the comic. They had... Um, they have the extremis program. He even has the extremis armor and stuff like that. But uh, the Mandarin, okay, the Mandarin, his arch nemesis, the Mandarin. They reduce him to some f drunk guy in the movie. Ben Kingsley, Sir Ben Kingsley plays him. Freaking awesome actor. They could have given Ben Kingsley some some powers, some supernatural powers and stuff like that, you know. They could have made him the a actual Mandarin from the comic books. Nope, that was too expensive. Why do they even care whether it's too expensive or not? They can afford it. <laughs> Their movies make a billion dollars. So, anyways, that's my gripe about this movie. Is just, they basically reduced the Mandarin to basically some guy who's played by... God... Here I go again, I have to look at the actors. It was basically played by, um, by, uh, who's his, um, hold on, bear with me here. It was basically played by, uh, by a Guy Pierce. Okay, yeah, Guy Pierce, all right. So he makes the, he's kind of like the maker of the extremist program, all right. Well, he, he is basically the Mandarin, okay? If you have not seen this, this is a spoiler alert. He is basically the Mandarin. And they make him breathe fire, for God's sake. They make him breathe fire, okay? And they could have done... They could have made the Mandarin exactly like what he was. He's like an emperor. He's like a god. They reduce him to basically... The, okay, the, the movie itself is good for what it is. It's better than I think Iron Man 2. But there's a lot of stuff that they messed up in this movie. There's a lot of stuff they messed up in this movie. For one, Tony Stark, it's basically about him. So if you're coming into this movie, if you're buying this movie for Iron Man, don't buy it for that. Because you're not going to see Iron Man that much. You will get an awesome action scene when a crap load of Iron Man's at the end. But don't buy this for Iron Man. Buy it because it may be the last movie in the series. That's the reason why you should buy it. Okay. So with an excellent cast, Don Cheadle, Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, Guy Pearce, and Sir Kingsley, Sir Kingsley, this one actually has the best cast out of all of these. But this one, they tried to make... Marvel tried too much to make their own movie. Now, I think I got qualms about about them not about comic book movies trying to go off to you know to make their own thing, but this one did it way too much to me. 
So I've got to cut this short. All right. This is a good trilogy for what it is. Iron Man's my favorite. All of these are good. Because they're all good movies in their own way. I would say, uh, though I said, like, like I said, Iron Man is the best. But they are each have their own different premise and take on Iron Man. Now, Iron Man also carried in the event carried the Avengers film. All right, he was the most important aspect. There is no doubt about that in the Avengers film. In fact, he is going to be the most important aspect in the next Avengers film because it's said that he creates Ultron, which is another thing that goes way far away from the comic. But I'll buy that, because Iron Man, there's a reason for that. Iron Man is is important in the series, and I get that. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up. These are the movies, they're great movies. If you don't own them, get them. They're really good. They're all probably on digital, too, in case you don't like collecting Blu-rays like me. So that is what this is... Uh, that's what the, this series looks like. And, um, you know, so uh, it's a great series. Robert Downey Jr. is great in all three of these movies. Uh, so that's it. Um, and this is going on way too long. So I will um, enjoy Iron Man 3 if you get it. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye-bye.